you ever need to work with geographic data, then the GeoCoder gem is a great way to go. It allows you to convert addresses to coordinates and vice versa, even IP addresses to addresses, and you can find nearby locations, distance and bearing to various locations from another, and a whole lot more. So I encourage you to check it out. This is what I'll be demonstrating here in this episode. What I want to do here is create an application called Sightseer, which will allow various people to come on and recommend different tourist locations. So the first thing I need to do is create a location model so we can uh, create some tourist locations. So let's do that by generating some nifty scaffolding. And we'll have a location model. And we'll have a address string column. And we also want to store the latitude and longitude. So let's make a latitude and turn it into a float column and longitude. Now the naming of these two columns is important. It's what a geocoder relies on, but you can customize that too if you want. So both latitude and longitude should be floats. And we'll just generate this and also migrate the database. So now we have this location model scaffolding set up and I can create a new location. But the problem is I have to enter in the latitude and longitude manually here. It would be great if I just had to enter in an address and these two columns would be filled in automatically. So we can do that through geocoder. The first step is to go to your gem file and add the geocoder gem there and then run the bundle command to get that installed. And then you can go into your model, the location model in this case, and then just add a geocoded by call and then specify the attribute you want to geocode into latitude and longitude. In this case, the full address here. Now, if you have multiple parts of an address split into columns, you can turn this into a method and just specify the name of the method here. But here we just have it all in one string column, so just specify that. Now you also need to specify when to do the actual geocoding, and it's common to do this after validation. So you just say after validation, and then say geocode, and that'll perform the actual geocoding, which will send a request to an external API. Uh, by default, it's Google Maps API. So you may want to move this into an external process as well, like I showed you in the rescue episode. But let's try this out. Let's just enter a new address. Let's say Statue of Liberty. New York, and then not specify our latitude and longitude. Now when we create location, it's actually going to fetch uh, the information from the external API, and there you go, it has a latitude and longitude for the Statue of Liberty. Now this will happen every single time you update this model, so you probably only want to do it when the address is changed. So you can modify this and say only if address changed, and that'll use dirty tracking to determine if the address is different, and then uh, only geocode then. Now you can also use the reverse geocoded by command if you want to convert the latitude and longitude to an address, but I won't use that here because it's basically very similar. You can look at the documentation for details. All right, I went ahead and added some more locations to our database. Now it would be great if when we go to a given location that it showed us some nearby locations as well and how far they are away. So we can add this feature to our show page and what we want to do here is make a little loop where we want to loop through the nearby locations. Now, Geocoder makes this really easy, where you just specify location.nearbys, and that will pass and return nearby locations. I think it defaults to 20 miles, so we can change this to maybe 10 miles. And let's just make a little list here, and link to our location address. So we're just linking to our location, and specify our distance in here too. And Geocoder gives a method on here, called distance, and it'll show, in this case, um, the distance from the location that it originated from. So in miles, so we can say distance, let's round that to the nearest second decimal place, and say miles. And let's make this all a list here. And just give us a little headline here, nearby locations. All right, so now when we reload our location here, we get nearby locations. We've got the Empire State Building, which is 5.3 miles away, and Times Square, which is 5.7 miles away. And it doesn't show uh, the Golden Gate Bridge because that's you know way out of the 20-mile radius. So we can go to our Empire State Building and now see that we have these other two locations. So we can kind of hop in between nearby locations through this method. All right, now on the page that we're listing all of our locations, it would be nice if we had a search box where we could you know specify a city name perhaps and show all the locations which are nearby that given city. So let's add that. 
All right, so at the top of this index template, we want to add a form. And to speed things up, I'll just paste in this part of the code. Uh, it's pretty simple here, though, just a simple form tag. That is a get request, and it has a search text field and just a button to submit it. So uh, this will just pass in a search parameter to our index action, which is the locations path. And then inside our controller index action, we can check for that parameter. And if our search parameter is present, then we want to search near locations. Otherwise, we're going to just search all of the locations. So the way we fetch the nearby locations in GeoCoder is we do location.near. And if we pass in a name of a city, which will be the search parameter, it'll just find everything in nearby that city string. And we can pass all kinds of options in here as well. The, uh, the first argument here is uh, the distance that we want to search, the search radius. Uh, let's just say 50 miles. And you can also pass an order option here to order by the distance. And that looks pretty good, so now it'll only show the nearby locations. All right, so now if I reload our locations here, you can see I have a search location bar. So if I type in New York here, it should find the ones by New York, even despite my misspelling there, thanks to the Google Maps API, I'm sure. And so if I type in San Francisco, it should find the Golden Gate Bridge because that's near San Francisco. So there we go. That's how you find locations near a given city. Now, if you're working with geographic locations a lot, you probably want some kind of map to go along with it. It would be nice if we had a map on our location page showing exactly where this given location is at. Now, a good way to go to add a map is through the Google Maps API. Now, there are a variety of different ways we can interact with this. But even though this isn't specific to GeoCoder, let me show you really quick how we could just uh, add a map to our locations page using the Static Maps API. Now, I'll leave it up to you to browse through the documentation, but it's pretty nice. You can easily just add an image to a specific URL that includes uh, markers and other parameters to customize how it looks. So I can just go to the show template and just add a quick image tag here pointing to the Google's Static Map API. And that's all it takes really is just to pass in some parameters such as the latitude and longitude for a marker. And then let's see if this works. Okay, let's go to a location here such as the Empire State Building. And voila, there's our map for the Empire State Building. And pretty nice. Now we can uh, see exactly where it's at. Now if you want to do something a little fancier than a simple image, you may want to check out the Google Maps for Rails gem, which allows you to easily interact with the JavaScript API so you can do something that's a lot more custom to your site and more interactive. So I encourage you to check it out. I haven't actually tried it out yet, but it looks very promising. Well, that's it for this episode on GeoCoder. I hope you enjoyed it. If you ever need to work with maps and uh, geographic information, definitely check it out.